Well, hello everyone. So today has been a really, really weird day for me. Uh, trying to get the store set up and it's just, it is just so much stuff to deal with. I moved the uh, clothes over to this little section here and working on getting, you know, I got all the shelving in the back done. So when I say I got it done, I actually anchored it to the wall because it was loose. Um, let me see if I can see one. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but... Oop. Nope, wrong way. But right there, there's a little... Oh my God, that's zoomed in. That's a little bolt right there. So I had to anchor them all to the wall, but everything's solid. I got um, some empty boxes up there that I'm going to repurpose. Totes. Most of the totes are empty. In fact, don't yeah. All these... Uh, Totes right there is what I emptied and put on the shelf so far and threw away a bunch and just going through Trying to put stuff in areas that I think it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to or not but um, Will make me a little section. I think that one there this one here in the center is going to be where all my electronics go Ugh. I got some Pretty cool bikes here like choppers and stuff but um, I, f I found these signs here that were uh, in with all this stuff that I bought. So what I'm going to do, or here, hold on, let me clean the lens real quick. There you go. Did that help out? I don't know. It looks like it did. So I'm going to label all these. So like this is going to be all the electronics here, and I'm going to take all the glassware off. Um, this is going to be, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe doing like jewelry and accessories, but the more I think about it, um, I have some more of these racks here, like this one I'm loading up with all the Hot Wheel cars on one side, and I'm gonna do like little action figures and games on the other side. So this is gonna be like a little toy one. And then um, I'm gonna do another one where I have like all the hats and, you know, this has a lot of room where you can hang on the back got all these little bars and I think that'd be perfect to hang jewelry on so I'm gonna make uh, one of these for like jewelry and accessories and like little hats and socks and have it where it all hangs on the rack so but it's coming along posted a few items on Craigslist I really haven't Facebook has just been horrendous to deal with but um, oh, I posted all the the shelves up on uh, Craigslist also. I'm doing 400 for the whole entire section. It's, uh, well, if you count today's prices, when I bought them, they were about $180 a shelf. So, but I'm gonna do it 400 for all of them. They're like uh, four at 42 inches and one at 30 inches. They're 80 in inches tall. And then behind it, there's a big pegboard. It's a big steel. Um, well, you guys can't see it, but you see a little bit up top, but there's like a little steel pegboard set up. And as soon as this is gone, then I'm going to sell the pegboard. And then I'm going to repurpose all these lights up in here. And then I'm going to tear all this down. And this is where I want to put all my doors. I think that's the best place for it. I'm going to build a rack for the doors. Very similar to this. In fact, I may just use this one. Yeah, and then up on top, I'm going to put some trim and stuff like that for, like, the, all the long stuff. I still have all that crown mold that I need to get rid of. I might just... I've already made money on it, so... I think I'm going to post it all. This first person give me 50 bucks for all of it, or 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Um, so, the reason I sound a little down is because I am. Um, went and renewed my business and did all that kind of stuff and you know i mean literally uh between friday and this morning i've been sitting here trying to get a bunch of this stuff you know just for us like okay another year yay and this morning like well this week i was supposed to have a whole bunch of glass like i got this one piece here because it was already in stock you know that beautiful piece of leaded glass so I got that one, but all the rest of it just got back ordered until the end of May, which really hurts because I got a lot of money out, you know, like I bought doors. I got $600 in doors that I'm supposed to get my money back out on. And now I'm 
spending all this money and if I can't finish a job, I can't get my money back out of it. So I'm just, this is another month that I'm going to be waiting on other people's bullshit. And this hurt because I was supposed to, you know, get close to $3,000 this month to finish up this stuff. And now I'm not. So time to have some big ass garage sales. So I'm just posting a lot of this stuff, just trying to get something. I got all these doors here. Unfortunately, it's not what they want. So I'm going to just... I'm gonna do what I can. That's all I can do. I don't. I don't know anymore. But it figures. I think this is definitely going to be the last year of the door business. I unless something changes for next year, I cannot. I mean, I, I literally have one piece that I ordered in August, okay, of last year. I still haven't gotten it. You know, and it just, and customers are like, well, you're running off with my money. I'm like, I ain't fucking doing a damn thing with your money. You know, so I had to email them, or text them pictures of my emails where they keep emailing me saying, hey, you know, not going to get it for another month. Ha ha, have a nice day. You know, it just, it's honestly to a point to where, and it's not just me. You know, I don't want to say boo-hoo me. It's not just me. This is everybody. This is consumers trying to finish their houses. This is people trying to buy food where certain stores are completely sold out. This is across the board. And if any of y'all really know the true history of Venezuela, of how great of a country it was, and then it, you know, got turned to socialism... And I think it was like seven years. They went from being one of the wealthiest nations in the world, selling gasoline to everywhere, to eating their pets because they couldn't find food. And just think about it. Seven years is what it took. And here we are a little more than a year into our, let's call it the toe in the water of socialism. If any of y'all think that, you know, it's just a phase or something like that, this is the end of America, period. You know, and I don't know if it can be saved. I honestly, I, I talk to the people that I know that are a hell of a lot smarter than me, and all of them are like, good luck, do what you can, you know. So, and this isn't about doom and gloom. This is me being more proactive on trying to sell my stuff this is me investing more time and energy and getting rid of things as quickly as i can i um, having my first uh garage sale friday well i shouldn't say my first but my first with this setup and yeah so but yeah this is definitely i think i'm if the market is going to stay like this i'm not going to waste my time and energy into things that are dying. I just had a flashback of my dad. But anyways, um, this is, I know it looks real hectic on the camera, but um, things are coming along pretty good. Uh, I got these two tables back here that I'm gonna set up as like a, you know, like a dollar table for random stuff I can just throw on. I got the table in the back that I'm gonna utilize. I don't know for what, I'm thinking maybe shoes for right now or something. Um, or maybe I might put some stereo stuff on it, but yeah, I'm going to start going to the, uh, oh, 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 something else. I went and made my mind up, but the rest of the shelving here, I decided I'm going to go ahead and, uh, put up some in my office cause I'm going to tear down my workbench or not my workbench, but my desk. I'm going to take my desk down. I'm going to move the table that I'm using as my desk, move my computer out here because I do have a bad habit of going in there and watching a YouTube video. And next thing I know, three hours later, I'm still in there watching crap. So, but yeah, today has not been the best day for information coming to me. You know, I spent a lot of money on redoing the business, everything else. And the rest of the world says, nah, we don't want you to do that no more. So, and since it looks like it's going to be the end of May, maybe june now hell i don't know you know that i'm gonna get any money back out of jobs i just i can't you know i can't keep putting money in and by the way some of the stuff i was supposed to get this week 
it was supposed to have been in two weeks ago and they said oh yeah we'll have it in here in any time and i sell the job with they telling me that so i tell the customer that and now i have and that was last week that one where i went on and got the cash and now it's talking about may 24th and my customer's pissed off and i was like you know you were on the i mean i was on the phone with them so i don't know what i honestly i'm confused on how to do business like this and Biggest thing I can say is if it's not in front of you, do not expect it to be in front of you anytime soon. So that's my uh, PSA for the uh, for today. So, but yeah, it's still a lot of stuff to do here, but I'm working on it and it's just slow. Plus I hurt my ankle and I think I'm gonna be going to the doctor tomorrow for that. It's been hurt for a while, but now it's like really hurt. And I think I know what it is, but I want them to diagnose it. And I hope I'm wrong, but if I'm right, then it's either going to be a lot of damn pain, steroid injections, or surgery. So, yay fucking me. All right, that's it. I'm still smiling. I'm just not showing it to you. That's all. But that's it for now. Peace, love, money. I'm out.